Welcome to our Power BI Masterclass. We are a community of authors who share daily Power BI tutorials, tips and tricks, guides and much more. Subscribe to our channel to get our free content. Today we will deep dive into an article written by Isabel Bittar and published in our Power BI publication that gives 10 practical examples on how to implement the hot new Power BI functionality, which is the user-defined function. So what are user-defined functions? Think of them like reusable DAX helpers. You write a function once and then call it anywhere in your report. Across visuals, across pages, even across different PBIX files. Lightbulb, why does this matter? Let me break it down. Instead of repeating logic in dozens of measures, now you write it once and reuse it wherever you need. Whether it's your time comparisons, custom colors, or number formats, your logic stays clean and consistent across the entire report. Less clutter, fewer one-off formulas which means faster build times and much easier maintenance down the road. Now let's look what Isabel is proposing as user-defined function to be reused in reports. Whole period time comparisons. This function quickly compare KPIs like sales this month versus last month, or revenue this year versus last year, using consistent reusable logic. Variance and status colors. Comparisons versus target or prior period. With this function, you can track how actuals compare to targets or prior values and apply conditional colors to KPIs. Calendar table auto columns plus optional fiscal start. This function auto generate a full featured date table with year, month, fiscal info and flags. No more writing it from scratch for every report. Rolling window KPIs. Create rolling windows like last 30 days sales or last 12 month average revenue without writing new measures every time. Percentile buckets, dynamic bins for any metric. This function visually group items like transaction amounts, response times, or customer spend into bottom 20% or top 20% buckets. Cool SVG visualizations. Show seven day trends in a spark line right inside your table or matrix. This is perfect for stock prices, sales, or KPIs. Humanize numbers and apply dynamic format. Display values like 1 million as 1M in dashboards, keeping numbers readable and consistent. Top and within group. This function filter visuals to show only top three products per category or top five instructors per course, without complex filtering. KPI narrative text. This function create auto-generated narrative KPIs like show in the picture. The last from 10 explained function is normalize labels. This function fixes mismatched categories caused by hidden spaces, tabs, or weird characters in text fields, critical for lookup value or joins. These 10 user-defined functions are building blocks for more consistent, maintainable, and scalable Power BI models. By packaging complex logic into reusable components, you save time and reduce errors. Isabel is providing DAX code for each of these functions and you can read her full article on the link provided in the video description. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, subscribe, and share. Drop your questions in the comments. And until next time, may the Power BI be with you.